Okay, now take a deep breath. And exhale. Better? Yeah, I feel better. You ready to rejoin the rat race? Go for the gold, conquer the world? You're right, nothing has happened that can't be conquered or ignored. That's right. So I'm gonna go right down to the studio, grab Johnny Bauer by the ear and say, Johnny, it's time we get away from it all, alone together. No, I think that's a good idea. Good. Absolutely. Oh, and I have just the perfect place. Ed, do you remember the Rambling Rose Inn? That sweet little place that I got you to go to when I got you away from the hospital? Oh, no, she's right. That's a perfect place to spend time with someone you love. Why don't I put the brochure? Forget it. She's never going to be able to no, find it. No, no, no. I think I left it in the living room. Come on, let's go find it. Don't forget to tell Johnny we were the ones who found I this place will. for you. Huh. The Rambling Rose Inn. Wait, why didn't you knock? Oh, I... How did it go with Black? Oh, I... I don't even know what to tell you. She... She refuses to talk to me. She's very angry. She's... lost. I just hope she finds somebody she can trust. Well, here I am, showing up at your doorstep like a... Orphan out of the storm. It's ironic, isn't it? Here I have my mother and my father to run to, and I end up coming to you. Well, I'm glad you did if you need to talk, or even if you don't. I mean... What's there to talk about? The whole world agrees Blake Lindsay Spaulding is a vicious, heartless person who doesn't give a thought to anyone but herself. Even her own mother thinks that. Well, she's right. Because I am the guilty party here. Everything is my fault. Anything that has ever happened to anybody. Everything. Oh, well, I don't think that's true, and I don't think Holly does either. She does. Look, Blake, why don't you give some, yourself some credit here? I mean, you know, you tried to do the right thing for Philip when he was the only one who thought that Beth was alive. Mom knows. What? What does she know? Did you wish Beth weren't alive? That you'd be happy if Beth had never come back? But I knew she was alive. See, I wondered if you were going to mention that because Rick told me about that before Christmas. I knew she was alive all along. Before, before I had Philip committed. So you knew she was alive? And you didn't tell anybody? Oh, you just didn't tell Philip. And I do it again. Only next time, I would make sure that he never found out the truth. Even if... So you can hate me now. Along with everybody else. Because I am definitely... guilty as sin. Okay. You want to talk about being guilty as sin? Fine by me. Come to the right person. So I keep this empty bottle hanging around up there. Kept it there for years because I like to look at it every once in a while. It reminds me of all the bottles that I, I killed before this one. I think I know what you're feeling right now. You screwed up. I mean, you screwed up real big. But I think you realize that no matter how angry and how hurt other people are, the hardest person for you to deal with right now is yourself. Now, is that, is that it? Is that close enough, sort of? I guess so. All right, so what happens then? The defenses go up. You say, what the hell do I care? All of that, so you don't have to deal with your feelings about yourself, right? I loved Philip. Everything that I did... Do you still love him? All right. So then you can't let your guilt paralyze you. Look, honey, you gotta take some kind of a first step here. Ed, I feel so lost. I do not know which direction to go in. 
I know that feeling. Oh, hell, all alcoholics know that feeling. We all know that. When we hit bottom. But what the program... What AA tries to get you to do, then, is to take a first step. You take a step, and then you take another step. And then you take one after that, and just somehow a, um, a direction, it just comes. Came here. Told you the truth. That's right, that's right, and that's the first step. So now you've got to somehow find a way to take another step. You've got to find a way to tell Philip and everybody else that you're sorry. I don't know if I can do that. Oh, of course you can do that, even if nobody applauds, even if nobody forgives and forgets. Look, if you don't, what's going to happen? You, you, you're going to stay trapped the way you are now. You want to spend the rest of your life living, living like this? <laughs> you know, even when you were three years old, you found it almost impossible to apologize to people. You used to crack me up, you know. When your mother would demand that you apologize for something, I had to look away because I, I for fear of laughing. Why? What was so funny? I don't know. I guess you just somehow reminded me of myself then. So what do you say? You're going to be able to find a way to tell Philip that you're sorry and take that step? Maybe. It can be very difficult, very frightening, so that you... Sometimes you want to back off, not do it. I think I can. Well, sometimes it's better if you're able to say out loud, you know you can. I can do it. <laughs> oh, that's good. Okay, you take that first step, and then somehow, you'll take another step. You just gotta remember that anywhere along the line, anywhere, any of those steps are too hard. <laughs>